Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Today we are with Jenna Ushkowitz. We're talking about this new documentary that she's a part of called Twinsters. Crazy story. Oh. How did you get involved with this? And tell us a little bit, you know, about what, what it is. Yeah, absolutely. Twinsters was Sam Futterman and Anais Bordier, and they were both Korean adoptees, adopted at uh, three months old, separated at birth. Growing up on separate continents, Anais grew up in France, and Sam grew up here. And then through the magic of Facebook and social media, they came together and found out that they are identical twins. At 25 years old, too, mind you, you know, and and so Sam, who has been a friend of mine for a really long time, we started just together on the East Coast. She called me, and we had both moved out to LA for a couple of years now, and she had said, "You're an adoptee, and I, I think you might like this story. Let me tell you about it." So she told me her insane story, and I said, "Okay, this is crazy. Let me process this." And then the next day, I said, "What can I do to help? Like, what do you need from me?" And she said, "I need an executive producer." So I said, absolutely. And then um, she said, I also want to start a foundation for adoptees. And I said, absolutely, me too. So that sort of burst out of Twinsters, and that's how I got involved. <laughs> Crazy the power of social media these days, that they're able to find each other across the world. Across the world, <laughs> that they're identical twins, and that it's like they can keep in touch that way too and see each other and still um, you know, be sisters and be family and, and communicate. So it's such a cool thing to see such positive things happening on social media as well as, you know, because in this day and age, social media can be seen in such a negative light. If it weren't for Facebook, they may have never met, ever. Did she know that she may even have? No. No, no they all. grew up thinking that they were only children, or at least that there was no twin that they yeah. came out of the same womb. Can you talk a little bit about the Ad Adoption Foundation that you guys yeah, have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we just had our inaugural benefit. It's called Kid the Kindred Foundation for Adoption. And essentially, we'd ultimately like to be the go-to resource for adoptees around the world. And that includes um, an emotional support system that we're looking to launch in the spring as well, like where adoptees can sort of log in talk to a volunteer and and you know communicate and you know enhance the community that's already there and then also we are trying to do um, develop subsidized grants for adoptee travel DNA testing family reunions so that way other people can find their family yeah. and um, sort of start that journey as well. Did that make you think at all about your own sure. situation? Sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, it, you know, more than ever, for sure. Um, just thinking, do I have siblings? Do I have a twin? Like, um, and then definitely, like within the movie, when you see it, they do try to contact the birth mother. I won't tell you what happens, but you know, it's a very cautious process, and it's definitely cautious because of your your family, and because of what the expectations of what you may find. It may not live up to what you were expecting. So it's kind of weird, but also um, when somebody's ready, I think that it's a great thing and there's nothing wrong with it. And uh, I do think that it, it's coming to the time where I'm starting to get inklings of like desires to do it, but also don't know how 100% ready I am. And I don't want to confuse it with because of Twinsters getting so excited of their story mm -hmm. that I'm expecting something crazy to happen too. <laughs> so. Now for you, this is also a very different role, you know, coming from Glee, being yeah. an actress, and then stepping behind this, the screen a little bit. How has that transition been? Um, it's been really enjoyable. It's been a great learning process. You know, all of us are sort of first-time filmmakers, so uh, we're really excited to have, like, such a comfortable, supportive, like, uh, sort of system to have under you know underneath you um, we're all just asking questions and not afraid to like figure it out um, and then putting a different hat on it's kind of nice to not have to memorize lines and do all these things all, while I am obviously still pursuing that um, to be able to do that and just like play producer and play like this other like sort of business side of me that I I've always sort of wanted to bring out um, I think that I would have been a really good businesswoman so this is this is a good chance for me <laughs>